everybody, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art, and I'm uh, going to go back and try some bloom swiping today. I have a repurposed canvas I'm going to use. It's a little 12 by 12, and I have a whole menagerie of colors here, and I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use and how I'm going to use them. But basically, I've got my uh, my Nicolazzo Gold Burnt Sienna combo. This is a rose, Venetian rose by Amsterdam. This is Kaput Mortem Violet by, also by Amsterdam. This is a Payne's Gray. And I think this is Arteza's Payne's Gray. This is my pearl combination with whatever leftover Chantilly lace I had. This is something new I'm going to try. It is the Enchanted Shimmer by uh, Deco Art. 24 karat gold, white cell activator, black cell activator. Here's the consistency. Basically, much thinner than the paints. And then my paints, I've got a combination of uh, multi-pro with gray flannel, gray paint that I had left over from the garage. And then this is my multi-pro. So here is the consistency of that. So base coat pillow is thicker than the paints. Paints are thicker than the cell activator. I'm gonna use my swipers, palette knives, and we'll see what we get. So it's been a while since I've done this. It's been, actually it's been about two months since leaving California, so we'll hope for the best on this. I'm gonna kinda of wing it, and uh, bear with me. I'll put everything I know in the description below. All right, I'll be back in a second. So because this is not a straight bloom, I'm going to try to edit out as much unnecessary as I can uh, because this is going to certainly be longer. So this is the gray. Now the idea of a double base, and I've seen Winterstrom do this, and uh, I'll list the people below that try this. So I've seen this with other artists, I'll list them below. But basically I'm going to put down the darker color first and then I'm going to top it with the white so that when I put my design down and I get ready to scoop and drag, I wanna to try to scoop into the base, this base, try to pull some of this color up over the top and see what we get. All right, I'm just gonna go for it here. It's gonna get some of this gray down. And this is a really pretty gray. Let me spin it just a second and see what we see if I can stretch it out a little bit. So I'm going to pick up the pace here double time as I'm stretching out the gray base and then I'm going to layer on top of that the multi pro white and I'll come back when I get done doing this. Just wanted to show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to stay on double time as I uh, lay the paints down. There's no real need to, oh, wait a minute, what's happening? Oh, <laughs> my camera fell down. I can't believe it. It didn't go into the paint, which I was very grateful about. So yeah, now I'm reattaching the camera and resuming. <laughs> you just don't know what's going to happen. So yeah, that's the paint's gray. And the next color I'm going to lay down is the 
the Caput Mortem Violet by Amsterdam. And I kind of, as I'm watching this back, thinking I should have probably gone with this color second to provide a nice contrast between the panes and the violet. And this is the Venetian Rose by Amsterdam. This one is that new one, the Shimmer Magenta by Deco Art that I'm trying out. And I'm really happy with the way it worked in the end. Spoiler alert. And of course, my staple, 24 karat gold. And I'm just kind of throwing in extra lines because at first my paints just wanted to go that way, so I just followed the, followed the way it went. And this is the Burnt Sienna Nicolazzo Gold Combo. And now I'm going to get my Selective Air set up, so I'm going to take a break and splice this out. So now I'm doing a little practice run as to how I'm going to ride my palette knife through and realizing with those little extra legs on there, it kind of posed a little bit of a problem. But you just drive on. So I'm going to start with the black. And you'll see what I'm doing, and I'll be quiet for now. So now that I've run my palette knife through with the cell activator, I'm doing some scooping and dragging and seeing what I can make happen with that. And all the time I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get the gray base pulled up. And you'll see it actually comes out a little bit here and there, but I'm not sure I'm liking the double base too much. We'll see. So now I'm starting to notice that some of the gray base is starting to poke through and I don't really like that. And then there, I was just trying to get rid of that errant drip of pink. And you'll see me doing a little more of this as we go. But I'm almost ready to start spinning it. So right on this scoop and drag, you can see that I've gone deep enough to pull up the gray but I don't really like the gray there. It doesn't connect to the piece. It's just kind of uh, an island onto itself. Um, so that's why I'm thinking, I don't know if I like the gray base or maybe I just need to learn how to control it better. We'll see. 
And I'm going to skip past this. This is just returning my cell activator. So now I'm just going to spread the base paint around the pillow paint, add a little pillow here and there so that the image has something to spin onto when I start to spin it out. So here I'm just popping a few air bubble bubbles that I noticed that came through and I'm waiting for that magenta by uh, Deco Art, that shimmer color, to do its job. And I'll be honest with you, between the beginning and the end, it was like night and day how that color showed up. that uh, enchanted shimmer is really it must be this purple color it's magenta interesting I lost all this cool stuff over here but It's pretty cool. That that shimmer, rose gold, the violet, and the gold work really good together. Let me just show you where we are first. I mean, you can see here it is. So I want to thank you for watching and I'm glad I was able to do something different than just regular blooms today and I'm going to do a flyover right now. So this is videoed in the shade and this is, it's got so many cool things to this. 
the boom pipe. You know that little section in here that preserves the faint rose, Venetian rose, in kaput mort of violet? So many colors in here, I can't even count. And then the cells in here are so cool. And then my favorite of all sections is right in this neck area where I have that pink cell and that magenta cell. And this whole array of cells is so cool. Yeah, I'll be bloom swiping a few more times, I think. 